Fox 5 viewer had her identity used falsely not once, not twice, but three times at the same big company. She'd had it. So the Fox I team's Dana Fowl says she reached out to call for action to get it to stop. And that's where we find Dana now with volunteers in the call center. Dana, good morning. Good morning. Look at this. This is where the magic happens. This is our phone bank. These are call for action volunteers. And they took that viewer call, our Lithonia viewers call, who says she was getting nowhere with a big company and its bureaucracy. They didn't hear her. Well, Call for Action did. First it came about is I got a collection letter in the mail. Naima James found out that somebody had stolen her identity and used it to get cable. The internet provider contacted me um, via collection agency, um, a letter from their collection agency telling me that I owed them money for 10 cable boxes that were purchased for one apartment unit located in Conyers. Bills coming in, she remembered, that ultimately tallied up to thousands, but she fought back. I had to go through a whole process of filling out police report, um, filing an affidavit with the company. She says she reported her ID theft to the FTC and she put a seven year freeze on her credit report. But it happened again. A couple of months later, after the first incident, I received yet uh, inf um, information from another collection agency telling me that I had an account in arrears with this same company. And then it happened a third time. This is Byron from Call for Action. So Naima James, frustrated no one was hearing her, got folks to listen. When it was just me on my own, it, it, I just felt like I was being bullied. Call for Action, our all-volunteer group that tackles problems for you that seem to have no resolution, well, they got the internet and cable provider to stop issuing accounts in her name once and for all. Don't go it alone. Call, call for action. And that's what's happening right now. Folks are calling Call for Action. Joining us this morning is our director, Call for Action director, Susan Bowie. Good morning. So, so what's going on in here this morning? Well, our, our ladies came in early. Our volunteers came in early this morning so we could field some live calls. They're all taking live calls. They're going to get your name and number, and they're gonna, we're going to call you back this afternoon, and we're going to help you through your problems, just like with the other lady. Yeah, Miss James called, had a problem with a big company, and they. It, one of the things she said is they were able to get to the top, whoever was at the top. And that's what they do. Well, that's where we start. We start at the top and we work our way down until we find the right person. Now, we get so many calls here at Call for Action that we really need to add another day, oh, a volunteer we're... day, which means we need more volunteers. volunteers. Tell them what they can do. Listen, we are trying desperately to open up another day. Right now, we're here on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'd like to open up Monday and Friday. So if you want to volunteer, you can call 404-879-4500, leave a message, get one of us, or you can go online to uh, call for action at the uh, Fox I team page. Yeah, we go to Fox 5 Atlanta, go to our page, go to the I-Team, and then there's a tab there Click for Be a Volunteer. Be a Volunteer. So we, we need volunteers, but we're also taking your call live this morning. Again, 404-879-4500. Pick up the phone. Back to you, Elise. Mm, perfect time to call and get some help. Data, thank you.